so the hand and wrist are made up of a, a number of bones. And so you have ranging from small bones to big bones, and then you have many ligaments attaching those bones as well. So in the, in the joint itself, the joint is between the arm bone and the hand bone. Uh, some of the most common injuries that can take place with the hand and wrist are chronic in nature. So for example, overuse injuries. So overuse injuries can occur from handwriting a lot, typing, texting on your phone, and playing video games. So anything that you sustain that amount of stress on your hands can increase the chances of injury to that area. Uh, so another, another injury that could take place is if you fall, if you trip and you fall and land on your hands. And so that could potentially uh, break bones. If not break bones, it can really, it can harm ligaments and tendons in that hand. So if it's not addressed correctly, uh, it can lead to more long-term injury. Carpal tunnel syndrome is a chronic condition, mostly involved with uh, typing. So a lot of people that sit at desks, they get a lot of the wrist position can get to the point where it can stress the tendons and ligaments in the wrist. And then over time that can lead to uh, long-term injury. So some pain relief options for the hand and wrist uh, can be one at home. You can put ice on it. So putting ice on it can help reduce the inflammation. Uh, second is you can also, in addition to the icing, help stretch it as well. So as, as far as physical therapy goes, physical therapy is a great option to address these injuries because you'll sit down with the physical therapist, the physical therapist will ask you questions regarding your injury and then decide how to treat it correctly and as efficiently as possible. And so at Emotion OC, we do offer a free consultation. So you'll sit down with the physical therapist, you'll kind of talk about your injury, and then you'll, uh, they'll set you up with uh, initial evaluation to help treat your hand. Thank you.